Hello, Vineyard. Happy Wednesday. It's starting to feel like summer is winding down and fall is near. We are only 67 days away from our Christmas decorating and chili eating party. Uh, so, And fall small groups are open for sign up. So tis the season. Last week, I mentioned that the, the Start Here small group um, is one of the core classes of our discipleship track. This week, I want to tell you about a class I'm going to be leading that's the third piece of the three-part series. Doing this stuff is a class that, that takes the example of Jesus and applies it to our lives. It's doing the stuff that Jesus did. This cl class will help us identify spiritual gifting and understand how it's used to exemplify the love of Jesus in the lives of those that we encounter in the time between the Sundays. We're going to talk about flourishing. We're going to talk about healing, deliverance, spiritual warfare, and how all of this is a normal part of the activity of the body of Christ. This is one of the three foundational courses in our discipleship track, which means this is stuff that we believe should, ha should have commonality in the folks that call Vineyard their family. So you can sign up for this class online now or on Sunday with a Connect card either way. Um, but this is another class that is offered during our, our fall small groups. Now, as far as updates are concerned, we have a lot going on. Our ministries have kicked off for the year. Uh, we, we're off to a great start. Youth group on Wednesday nights is growing and seeing some awesome development. Our OGs have had their first meeting of this new season, and, and those seasoned veterans are, are responding to the reality that there is no retirement in the kingdom of God. Um, also, we've got small groups ready for October. Um, but another update that I have for you is, is for those that are new or new-ish to the vineyard, if you're looking also to introduce somebody to the vineyard, this coming Sunday, we, we are uh, going to meet together after worship. We're going to have our welcome home lunch. This is a lunchtime talk about who we are, uh, what we believe, and how we fit in, in, in the vineyard into the larger body of Christ. Also, how to get connected to the things that we have going on here. It's not a long talk, but it's always a good time to meet, to get to know each other, have some food. So even if you're just craving a, a burger, come down this Sunday after church and join us for our welcome home reception. Now, finally, I want to do this last update as both update and devotional. We're on a journey together through the book of Ephesians. And so far, Paul has gone to great lengths to present to us that, that we're adopted by God, chosen by God as a result of his unfailing love. We've seen Paul as, as an example of someone wholly unworthy of being chosen by God, and yet chosen just the same. This example is, is for us, but after we recognize that it is for us, we, we're going to see Paul kind of take his eyes off of our chosenness in order to see the chosenness in those that, that we worship with, in those that, that we're in this family with together. In this, we see the body of Christ the plan of God to reconcile the world through the activity of the church. We see that loyalty to Jesus results in love for each other, and not reaching that result allows us to see that our loyalty really isn't to the king at all. One way loyalty to Jesus is worked out is through service, through helping each other in the family of God to do life. On Sunday, September 25th, right after worship, I'm going to be leading a workshop designed to help us process grief, to help us serve each other as we do life together. Now, if you were with us over the summer, you know that we lost a dear friend, a staff member, and a very visible member of our Vineyard family to a tragic accident. The loss of Tara hit me, uh, it just, it, it hit me personally very hard. And, and I'm aware that, that there are so many losses that people in our Vineyard family have taken over the past several weeks and months. This isn't the only one, uh, that there's been several tragedies and, and points of grief that, that our family has suffered. Grieving is a process, and having a Vineyard family to support the process can make all the difference. So here's the point. If you've endured a tragedy, if you suffered a loss, if you have seen or felt an injustice, if you're frustrated or angry with God, RSVP to this workshop so we can take a step in the process of healing together. If the event or experience was days ago or decades ago, it doesn't matter. Join us in this workshop so we can apply some tools to the process and move closer to peace with God in the midst of tragedy. So if you RSVP by signing up on the website, there's probably going to be one of them buttons down below. Um, sign up on the website. Um, we will have lunch ready for you uh, so you, we don't add hangry to, to our grief. Um, you can sign up on, on the website and, uh, and we will be ready for that. That'll be September 25th, um, lunchtime right after service. So Vineyard, I'm praying for you. Please pray for me. I will see you on Sunday.